And every day there's gloom and fatigue from the pandemic, so we're headed to the bright side. How one grateful dad gave thanks by deciding to join the fray. And along with informing you, we at WRTV also want to uplift you right now. It's a unique way to say thank you. Our Nikki Dementry introduces us tonight to a local dad who got a very specific job as a way to give back to the place that saved his young daughter's life. You guys know where you're going, right? All right, have a good morning. Kevin Gibson is still fairly new as a protective services officer around the halls of Riley Hospital for Children. I'm excited to get up and go to work every day, and there's not many jobs where you can say that. But if these walls could talk, Kevin's story would surely be included. It feels like a lifetime ago. It's, it, it feels surreal. It feels like it wasn't really us. A lifetime ago happened in August, weeks after the family of four welcomed twins Juniper and Gemma, or Junie and Jemmy. Before birth, the Gibsons learned Junie had a heart issue. It's one of the most common and underdiagnosed diseases that we see. The Gibsons say things happened quickly. What was hoped to be a simple cath lab procedure turned into cardiac arrest, then ECMO, and finally open heart surgery. We do want to warn you, some may find these images discomforting. When I saw her that first time, I kept going outside of her hospital room and looking at the door because I was like, this doesn't look like my baby. I, don't, I think maybe we're in the wrong room. During Junie's weeks-long hospital stay, Kevin, then a stay-at-home dad and former code enforcement officer with the city, got to know the protective services officers on duty. They told him they were hiring. Pretty much everything was guiding me to where we are now. Without hesitation, Kevin took the job. He wanted to give back and, most importantly, wanted to say thank you, which he did his first week to the surgeon who saved Junie's life. And he turned around. He's like, sir, is there a problem? And I was like, yeah, there is, sir. Uh, you know, I, I didn't get to say thank you. And uh, show him a couple pictures of her and everything. I mean, it was it was a really surreal moment to me. At Riley, Kevin is now a part of a little army of parents turned employees. I have at least three of my patients whose parents change their jobs and work at Riley in various different locations. With a unique and comforting perspective within those four walls. A lot of the parents, especially the dads, are like, you know, I don't even know how to say, you know, I don't even know what to do for these guys to thank them. And I'm like, there's nothing really you can do. I was like, except we're hiring. <laughs> What's up, man? Nikki Dementry, WRTV.